Welcome to the Creating Dropbox Folders demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create a Dropbox folder in which students can post their assignments. By the end of this demo, you will have Dropbox folders set up and ready for use in your course. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the course navigation bar, click on the Course Tools drop-down menu. Then choose the Dropbox link. Click on the New Folder button. Under the Properties tab, in the Name field, type in the name of your Dropbox. Example, Week 6 Homework. In the Folder Type field, you can choose Individual or Group Submission. If you want to use the Group Submission option, you will need to have groups already set up. Categories are used to organize the Dropbox page. In the Category drop-down menu, if you decide to use categories like Homework or Extra Credit to organize your Dropboxes, you will need to first create them using the New Category link. Now, you can select the category from the drop-down menu. The Dropbox can be connected to the Gradebook. If you haven't already set up your Gradebook, do that first and then return to the Dropbox. If you need help, view the Creating Grade Items demo. If you have already created your grade items, use the drop-down menu to select the correct grade item. Only grade items that are numeric and haven't been assigned will be displayed. Select the grade item you want to use. If you want to add an additional grade item in a category, use the New Grade Item link. In the Out Of field, type in the maximum points for this assignment, such as 100. If you are going to grade this assignment using a rubric, make sure you have already created the rubric and use the Add Rubric button to select it. If you need help creating a rubric, please watch the Creating Rubrics demo. In the Instructions field, type in what your students are supposed to do with this assignment. Example, download the file, complete the assignment, and then upload to the Dropbox. In the Attached Files section, you can add files to the Dropbox for students to use to complete the assignment. Under the Submission Options area, you can decide if the students can upload unlimited times to the Dropbox folder or just once, and which file to keep. You can also receive submission email alerts by typing in your email address. Click Save to save the information on this tab before moving to the Restrictions tab. Under the Restrictions tab, you'll see the Availability section, which you can use for Start and End Dates for your Dropbox folder. If you use the Start and End Date options, students will only be able to click on the Dropbox during the time frame you choose. You can also choose a due date for the assignment. The due date can be prior to the end date. If students turn in the assignment after the due date, the system will mark the file as being turned in late. In the Release Conditions section, you may add special circumstances for when a student may view your Dropbox. If you need help setting up release conditions, view the Setting Up Release Conditions demo. In the Special Access section, you can click on the Add Users to Special Access button and give specific students access to the Dropbox on a different time frame than what is used above in the Dates field. This option is normally used for specific students who miss the assignment for an excused reason and need to have it available on a different date than the rest of the class. When you're finished making changes, Click on the Save and Close button. If you want to create another Dropbox, select Save and New. You have now successfully created a Dropbox folder.